Welcome everyone to another Launchpad to Learning video. My name is Natalie and I am an educator here at the Air Zoo. Today, we're gonna be combining science and art, two of my favorite things, to make this really, really neat marbled paper. Now this is really neat on its own as, on a, as a piece of artwork, but you can turn it into things like greeting cards, wrapping paper, you can cut out shapes, you can do all sorts of really, really cool things with this marble paper that we're gonna make today. So let's get started. Now let's stop for just a minute before we get started. This can be a really messy activity, which makes it even more fun. But it's really important to protect your workspace, maybe with a tablecloth, newspaper, and also maybe wear something like I am, like my lab coat, where I'm not afraid to get it stained. So maybe an apron or a paint shirt or whatever you have like that. So for this, you're just gonna need some common household materials. And the first one is arguably the most important, and that is shaving cream. Now you can get the cheap store brand shaving cream. It doesn't need to be anything fancy. You do just need to make sure that it is shaving cream and not shaving gel, because the shaving gel doesn't really work very well with this activity. You're also going to need food coloring. Now with that, just make sure it is liquid food coloring, not gel. You're also going to need cardstock or another heavy duty paper. Print your paper will work. However, it'll get a lot more flimsy and start to break apart as you do this activity. So cardstock works a lot better. Or if you have some art paper laying around like a mixed media art paper, that would work as well. You're also gonna need toothpicks and a disposable aluminum tray. Now, if you don't have a disposable aluminum tray, you could also use a casserole dish because you will be able to wash it out afterwards. Lastly, you're also going to need a scraper of some sort, whether that be a ruler or a piece of cardboard. And then you're also gonna want some paper towel or some things to clean up your mess with. And then having a trash can nearby is really helpful as well. So the first step to this project is we are gonna be filling our tray or container with some shaving cream. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. This is where it can get pretty messy. Now we don't need a mountain, we just need a nice even layer to work with. Now we're gonna take out our food coloring and give it some drops of color throughout. You can use as many different colors as you'd like. Before we go any further, let's stop and talk about the science behind this really quickly. We'll notice that when we add our food coloring to the shaving cream, the food coloring just kind of stays in one place. It doesn't really bleed or move out throughout the shaving cream. That's because of the molecules in the shaving cream and in the food coloring. Now, shaving cream has something called hydrophobic molecules, which means those molecules fear water or are afraid of water. And it also has hydrophilic molecules, which means those molecules like water. Now on the flip side, food coloring just has hydrophilic molecules, those water-loving molecules. As a result, they can only interact with the hydrophilic molecules of the shaving cream, which in other words, gives it limited mobility. That means it can't really move around very much. We're gonna add some movement ourselves with toothpicks. So I'm gonna go in and just kinda get swirling in there. The more you swirl, the more the color is gonna spread out and move around and create a really cool marbled effect. Now you don't wanna to swirl too much though because if you swirl way too much, you're gonna get your colors starting to get a little muddy and brown looking. It won't look quite as cool. So swirl around quite a bit, but not too much. All right. Then we're gonna get in there with our paper. We wanna just press down gently and then do kind of a nice gentle rubbing to really make sure that that shaving cream and food coloring makes contact with the paper. Because if it doesn't make contact, we're really not gonna get that food coloring lift up onto the paper. And that's what we need to create that marbled effect. And if we go back to that science just a little bit, we, re we remember those hydrophilic and hydrophobic molecules the thing about paper is the molecules in paper are hydrophilic, which means they like water. So the food coloring molecules are really gonna wanna soak up into that paper. And we're gonna lift 
and see what we have as our results. Now we're going to lift our paper and move it to our table. Next, we're going to take our scraper and scrape away that excess shaving cream to reveal the design underneath. Wow, look at that! Beautiful marbled paper. So after you've pulled your first piece, you don't need to get fresh shaving cream right away. We can use that same shaving cream and add more food coloring if we need to, or we can work from it just as it is here. And let me show you a quick other method of getting this shaving cream marbling. This is gonna be using our shaving cream that we have already used. It's got those colors swirled around. I'm just gonna go in and actually scoop with my scraper. I'm gonna scoop that shaving cream right out like that. And I'm gonna come over to my blank piece of paper over here. And I am just going to smear it right onto my paper. Now this is gonna give us a slightly more smeared kind of smoky effect. So that's a way that you can use up that shaving cream instead of just tossing it out right away after your first use. And if you're anything like me, friends, you are gonna be doing this again and again because it's just so fun to see the different results you get each time. So set aside some time, get messy, and have fun creating and combining science and art. See you next time.